What is going on ladies and gentlemen of the tribe and welcome back to another Galaxy of Heroes video. We've already started off our cheesy conquest guide and I'm here to cover sector one for you and dear me is this one cheesy. There are so many feats that we can get done with as little problem as possible so grab a coffee, sit back, relax and smash that like button baby. Let's do this. Heading over to Conquest Sector 1 then for our Queen Armadala Conquest. What can we see for Sector Feats? We need to kill 50 enemies with Jedi, gain defense up 80 times, inflict armor shred 30 times, and gain secret intel 80 times. Now the wonderful thing about this is we can basically do all of those feats in, well, maybe not one battle, but more or less one battle, and it is really not so bad. And the wonderful thing about that is we just happen to have a node which has got infinitely respawning units in the boss node. So don't worry as you are progressing through this sector to try and get these feats done. You can even come back at the end of Conquest when you've got all your data disks and grab it then. With that in mind, let's talk about data disks. Now, I'm currently running a setup that encourages zealous ambition, so it's essentially healers support types are going to be gaining a boatload of offense based on their max health. I'm also running survivability with zealous ambition, quickening to gain additional speed. I love quickening, it's a really good data disk. It's a one dot, you can get 6.5% speed. I think there's a blue one that goes even faster again. Um, for, for a one dot and you're getting evasion bonus, I've got like four of these equipped, so I'm getting 20 26% additional speed to the whole team. I'm using Spirited Speed here to give me some additional TM when I gain a buff, Entrenched for survivability, and that's kind of it really. You can go in with more things like Zealous Ambition and, and um, Vitality for example to boost your max health, but honestly to get some of these feats done you don't actually want too much offense. So this is the team that we are actually running with. I know it looks a little bit nutty, but it does work. We've got Jedi Knight Revan, he's going to be our Jedi leadership. We've got the likes of BB-8, he is going to be passing secret intel. Piers very nicely with C-3PO as well. Old Ben passes defense up to all allies when he uses his second special. And Sabine Wren has got armor shred. So again, we're running a setup here where we are trying to kill the entire enemy team. Apart from one unit, typically we tend to leave off um, spirit and then we're just going to slowly work our way down on zombie now you want to make sure you've got no data discs on at the moment that will increase your offense in any way shape or form you do not want any of that business what you want to be able to do is just armor shred your way through this team without any real issues first and foremost we want to be able to kill mother tells in three times and then we want to be able to uh, get rid of the rest of the team including daka there we go get that defense up from old ben and then after a short amount of time, we should be able to essentially go semi-auto, I guess. We can't go full auto, unfortunately. It's not going to quite work because there is an AOE from Sabine that could cause us a couple of issues. I'm going to use a basic here with BB-8 to try and get through that zombie nice and quick. Let's get that armor shred. It's probably going to die. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, now, you don't have to use Sabine. You can use other characters. I'm using Sabine because she is a rebel and uh, that means she'll be able to get that uh, translation from C-3PO so we'll be able to cycle through her abilities a little bit quicker. All right, make sure, make sure you kill Mother Talzin enough times so that she uh, she will not come back and then you need to kill Daka, okay? So let's keep on getting armor shreds. You wanna try and get as many armor shreds as possible because obviously the feet. We're gonna go ahead and pass Illuminated Destiny now just for the TM gains. Let's pass back and forth. Now we just need to get rid of old Daka. Work on her. We've had, what, three armor shreds so far, I believe? Three so far. Let's go ahead and pass this round again. Let's go ahead and get AoE ability blocks, and then I'm just going to direct focus on Daka. Soon enough, we'll be able to put this on more or less full auto. It's not actually going to be full auto, because um, we, do, we, we need to avoid using the AoE from Sabine. All right, let's have a look. I'm trying to get as many stacks of translation on Sabine as possible, and this is where the ball gets rolling. So, essentially every turn with BB-8, you want to be wiggling. Every turn that you can with Old Ben, you want to be doing that uh, taunt ability, and then armor shredding with Sabine. Now, you do not want to hurt uh, Night Sister Spirit, okay? Do not hurt Night Sister Spirit. That is the plan numero uno, okay? Hurting her or killing her at this point will be the end of this run. So, C-3PO is going to be over there. He is going to be doing us lots of nice favors by decreasing our cooldowns. BB-8, every time he uses his first special, is going to be passing lovely, lovely stacks of uh, secret intel. 
And that's all it is to it, really, guys. That's all there is to it. You just go through this. You should be able to get loads and loads of armor shreds in this run. Um, if you want, you can put this on basic auto to try and speed things up. You should probably try and save attacking that zombie with the armor shred ability when uh, when the zombie is going to survive because it needs to survive for that armor shred to land, unfortunately. Let's keep on using a basic here. I'm just going to basic the zombie here to get rid of it so that it's got nice full health when we go for that armor shred. Now, I know that we had armor shreds, uh, two armor shreds on Mother Talzin, and we had one on Daka. So that's three plus the three here. We're already at six armor shreds, which is quite nice. Six armor shreds is quite nice. Now, ooh, we don't want to lose our old Ben, though. That would be rather disastrous. Let's use Illuminated Destiny here just to gain some additional stats. Yeah, there we go. More armor shreds. Let's get more defense up. So, zombie, uh, sorry, spirit, I apologize, can get that foresight. That means you can get away with an AoE and it will completely miss, which is quite nice. We just want to make sure that we don't lose our good boy, Old Ben, because he is there to support and provide us with that defense up. We need to get it 80 times, don't forget. 80 times is uh, a decent amount. If there's five of us in the team, it means what? We need to do it 16 times, essentially. We need to be able to use that... Um, oh, I shouldn't have done that. We need to use his second special 16 times across the course of this battle. It's very easy to do. The BB-8 one with the secret intel, you'll easily get this done just through the course of, uh, of farming this zombie node. You'll get the kills with Jedi, thankfully, very, very quickly. Oh, I should have taunted there. Should have taunted there. Um, and over time, this will get done. Like I said, I'm not going to waste the armor shred there because the zombie was going to... Uh, the zombie was definitely going to die from that hit. Let's use it here, see how we get on. Okay. Well, unfortunately, our Sabine up Relic 5 with good modding is, is hitting a little bit too hard. But that's okay. That's definitely okay. You should still be able to get a decent amount of them. You should be able to get at least sort of 10 armor shreds across the course of this, I would say. Uh, which should mean you'll be able to get it done in about three battles. Still better than trying to get loads as you progress. Ooh, wow, that's a uh, nice sp sister spirit over there starting to do real good damage. Let's try and keep that Ben alive. Now you could throw in someone like um, you could throw in someone like Jolie to get revives going to make sure you don't lose your Ben. Um, that's entirely up to you, I guess. Um, I think Armor Shred is likely going to kill thanks to the. Uh, Thanks to the expose that we're getting there. That is the only problem with having C-3PO in this team. The exposes can ruin the run just a little bit. I'm just going to do a basic over here, which is going to miss. It's also going to decrease the damage that we take from that spirit. We'll get another armor shred going over here. Super. So I'm going to skip to the end of this video now, just to show you how many armor shreds we rack up on zombie ultimately. And uh, I'll catch you there. So, coming into the final seconds here, you can see that we've got 15 armor shreds on zombie, maybe 16. 16 armor shreds on zombie, we'll definitely get all of the kills, we'll get all of the secret intel, and we had an additional about 3 armor shreds, I believe, at the start of the battle. So, coming in on nearly 20 armor shreds. You can get this done in 2 battles for your armor shreds, 1 battle for your secret intel and your defense up, and your Jedi kills. That's basically all of the feats done in 2 battles, basically. Really, really solid cheese right at the start here. Now, let's take a look at the Sector 1 nodes. Now, actually, before we go on from that, in, in case you don't happen to have that team or you can't actually get that team rolling and off the bat, then you can do it with just like a full CLS team. You just drop out someone like Chupio and throw in Sabine there. You can do the same sort of thing, just target down the zombie. You can put it on more or less full auto, or you could go in like semi-auto um, and you should be able to ramp up quite a lot of armor shreds that way as well just make sure you don't have anything that's going to ramp your offense similarly speaking you can go in with the jtr team on that boss node and get good good work on the secret intel there as well because she's got so much good tm viability tm control now let's go ahead and look at the mid sector boss mid sector boss is against jedi knight revan we need to win two battles one with hermit yoda surviving and one without using jedi sith or unlined force users i'm not going to show you a yoda one 
if you've got Hermit Yoda, you've got decent Jedi, just throw in some decent Jedi and throw in Hermit Yoda. Even if you don't, throw Hermit Yoda under Galactic Legend Ray or anything like that, and you'll get the job done nice and easily. There are a whole bunch of teams that work very, very well as far as uh, not using Jedi, Sith, or Unaligned Force users, but I'm using Zealous Ambition, so I like to use Adrad. Adrad is a support character and has a nice AoE that can do just a little bit of um, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage there. So if you don't have Adrad, you can also use stuff like Bam Lead with Dash, Quill, and IG-11. Just make sure you're not using someone like Cat, and you'll be able to easily get this done. If you want to use Hermit Yoda, throw him in this team. Replace anybody apart from Adrad. Do it again. It's very, very easy. And the boss node, we're using JTR droids. So JTR with BB-8, throw in T3, getting R2-D2, and you want to be getting in C-3PO. JTR just does really, really good work with that rather wonderful droid support. Zealous Ambition with um, R2-D2 as well does great, great amounts of damage. Again, you want to be able to kill Mother Talzin three times, then clear the board. If you're having issues getting the secret intel feat, you can easily get it done with this team. Just once you've got rid of everybody apart from Night Sister Zombie and Spirit, just hang around focusing on that, that uh, Night Sister Zombie and just keep wiggling with BB-8. I just went through this to show you just a quick and easy full clear that will get you both of the boss feats done in one team very, very quickly. Zealous Ambition is just such a strong data disk setup for this version of Conquest. Make sure you grab it as soon as possible. Alrighty, guys, I'm not going to beat around the bush here and give you a load of waffle. It's not worth it. It's very easy to get these feats done. Do not worry if you do not have the data disk set up to get this done right now. It's not a concern. Just take your time and come back to it once you've cleared through all the sectors. That's the priority here. Blitz through as many sectors as you possibly can. Don't worry too much about the feats. Build up a nice healthy collection of data disks, then cycle back and try and catch up on these. I'm going to try and get these videos out for these sectors as quickly as possible for everybody, making your lives easier to get Queen Amidala. Make sure you like if you haven't already and consider subscribing. And one final salute to the wonderful patrons that support this channel. Thank you all so very much. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, and may the force be with you.